Welcome back, everybody, to Rim Mode. Good news, we've only got 2.9 days before this goddamn Alpha Beaver is gone, and we never have to worry about it again. So before we dive in too much to today's content, I want to bring up roughly the next mod pack that we might be playing, because I know a lot of you guys are missing the modded content. I I kind of am as well. There's a lot of stuff in base game Rim Mode that is still very lacking compared to some of the crazy big mod packs we've been playing for. It it's genuinely is the difference between night and day. So I would love to go back to some more of the modded content just so that we have access to all of that old stuff that we're kind of used to now at this stage. Now, I want to ask you guys specifically, if we die again, because the way it looks right now, forget I said that a second, just the way it looks right now, the community mod pack that we built not so long ago is only roughly a quarter updated, less than a quarter updated of, of the total amount of mods that we added in that. So I couldn't go immediately back to that community mod pack. I could, however, build another sort of different themed mod pack for a while. So first, if you've got any suggestions for that, of course, feel free to throw those at me. But more importantly, if we die again, should we continue with vanilla and go for that end game content? Or should we move straight on to the modded, to the modded playthrough? I'll leave that down to you guys. That's generally what I would like to know before the ends of, uh, or before it actually comes down to it. Just whether or not you guys want to see more of the base game stuff, whether you're happy to see more of that, or whether we should just move on to, not the community mod pack yet, because again, it's not fully updated, but whether we should go for, you know, just one of those, uh, what, a, a sort of standard remote playthrough that we would do on the channel with all the many different mods, and I'll come up with a different theme, and then of course we can work together on what might be the actual theme of that, and what mods we should take a look at for 1.1 as well. But you guys let me know on that one. Anyway, let's go back to business. So we are still dealing with this damn alpha beaver, 2.5 days. We recently had the the raid, or more specifically, it was a siege down here, so we should be safe for a couple of days as well, and then we started on the kill box. Now, some advice that was given me on yesterday's comment section said that the turrets in version 1.1 are much heavily nerfed compared to how they used to be, which is a little bit of a pain in the ass, I admit, because we don't have really the best weapon selection right now. We've, of course, got a brawler, but no armor for him. We've got a couple of shotguns with terrible range, and then we've got machine pistols, which are kind of your lowest of your low automatic weaponry there. So next time we get a good weapons merchant or something like that, I might trade some what we might consider essential resources maybe some components something like that trade those for better weaponry if that becomes an option we'll try and get the traps and these walls down as soon as possible but i have started planning out some new bedrooms here as well for our new characters of course we have uh, jacob 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 however you want to say it joined us yesterday yoko and leblanc need their own bedrooms as well because they were sharing the prison basically we're just very very behind on this so what we'll do is how many more bedrooms do we need realistically um we've got a very comfortable uh, barracks to start off with, but I think for the time being, we could just build two bedrooms and then and then keep one of them in the barracks, which I was going to turn into a prison, and then we could turn that back into a hospital and that back into a bedroom, seeing as it's a bit more built for that. Um, I'm not really sure how we want to do it. We'll build two more bedrooms, because that's always going to come in ha handy anyway, but we'll just have one person live in the barracks for the time being. And we've just finished medicine production as well. Very nice. Okay. Um, what are we looking at then in terms of the next research to go for? I think fabrication would be a great shout. We do have two advanced components. And of course, they used to cost uh, fabrication benches. That is, used to cost two advanced components. I assume it's still the same. I assume that much is unchanged. So we can actually build that now and not be limited so much. Now, more importantly, that will allow us to craft some of those better weapons. I don't even know if you can craft rifles, uh, charge rifles in the base game. That's how long it's been since I played. Obviously, we played with crazy charge rifle technology with all the vanilla expanded mods. But I don't even remember if you can build them. But either way, this is absolutely something we need for the future. Oh, Algumi Mech Hive. Oh, no. Oh my god, they're coming in the friggin'... Oh my god, what? They're coming straight down here. Okay, flee. They've just dropped right in on one of our bedrooms. Are you actually kidding me? Unreal. And I assume they'll set up those weird things they had before. Or maybe it'll just be like two scythers or something something like that. Um, let's go stand over here then. It's two lancers. That's not nice. Um, can we go and bait those guys out? Hey, stop breaking my stuff. Get him, Rib. Incredible. That was a that was a risky that was a risky play. I'm so sorry. I thought I could maybe kill him. Oh come on, Rib! I believe in you. You've got this. Oh come on, twelve health. Come on, one more one more shot. Seriously, our weapons don't have enough penetration to kill him. All right, you know what? Let's get out of there. Get out of there. Run, little Rib. Um. Oh Christ! They've got a range to them, haven't they? Should we just rush them down? Should we just just absolutely rush this down? This is a horrible idea. Go, go, team, go. As long as we're moving, it's going to be very unlikely this thing's actually going to hit us. And then we'll just have everybody... Oh, Rib. Why Rib all the time? Is he okay? Bleeding out five hours. He's had his leg shot off. Oh, my God. I can't believe Mechanoid can drop right on top of us like that. Unreal. 
Okay, there's one down. The other one's still fucking there. Um, shit, Rib. Uh, just get, just get to the bed. Just get to the bed. Omega, I'm gonna get you to rush in there as well. Oh, she's going that way. Why is she going that way? That's very peculiar. All right, get you there, and you can just take pot shots at him. Hopefully, as we run past. Okay, go, go, go. There we are. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, uh, LeBlanc, get down here as well. Take some cover. Unbelievable. Finally. Okay, okay. Ten to rib. What are you doing? Going for the herbal medicine. Oh my god, are we out of glitter set medicine? Oh my god, we're out of industrial level. Okay, best quality medicine then. I have no qualms in this situation with using the glitter tech stuff. Okay, fine. And then we'll go back to industrial. Wow, that was um completely unexpected. Completely unexpected. I thought it would be one of those mechanoid clusters. I didn't even realize these regular mechanoids could still drop in on us like that. Not bad. It could have been a lot worse. We did lose a leg, though, which is obviously a pain. What are you doing with that corpse? Why are they taking such weird move routes as well? This is so weird. That was a fun little bit of excitement. Quest active meeting. Hello. Uh, Orange Ram, chief of Abbey over the pond, said it's best. He wants to talk to us a nearby location. Um, minus 80. A good negotiator. Who have relations with their faction received gifts? Where? How close are they? That's not very close at all, you liar. I was going to say we could send Omega to try and smooth things over. Um, bear in mind Omega has the socials. I mean, she's got almost 15 social there. I might ignore that one. I might ignore it, because it's probably not going to put us in good enough relations that they won't raid us, and even then, it's not going to affect the amount of raids that we get. Um, are those guys, hang on, those guys, though, are the, are they the Civil Outlander Union? Abby of the Ponder, are they the rough tribe? Uh, yeah, I really don't care. They're a fierce tribe. That's okay. I don't really care about those guys. I, I'm not really interested in making friends with the tribal. If it was the... The human settlement, the oh, the human settlement. Wow, that's a bit. That's not very good. If it was the settlement of um, the more technologically advanced people, we probably want to make friends with them because obviously they're not going to. The, the tribe is not going to turn up with shotguns and armor and shield belts and everything else. But we'll leave it. We'll leave it. It's it's not that essential. But I guess instead we research uh, some prosthetics there, chief. Oh god, at least she's fine. That uh, uh, they didn't die, and honestly, that's a victory right there. Dealt with dealt with basically two mechanoids single-handedly. I'll allow it. That's absolutely okay. Um, we don't have any beds either. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Probably because we've got no wood because it's this damn beaver. Uh, is there anything else kicking around? There's a very small amount of wood on this side. Oh, God. It's eaten so many trees. Fine. We got the last of this stuff chopped down. We've got a lot being used on these floors, and these buildings are all planned out, too. What are you doing right now, Rib? Cutting stone blocks from Chunk? What? At uh, 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 midnight? What the hell happened here? Malnutrition? What? The traders are not leaving? Are these our muffalo? Human-like alliance. They are our muffalo. Um, what? <laughs> we just got a load of people that have just died in our base. Okay. Um, we could rescue them and I gain, guess gain some more faction relations. Um, okay. This is so strange. They've, they've just all started dropping down dead. Well, let's stick down some sleeping spots in here then. Um, just so that we could use temporarily as like medical facilities. Hello. Uh, thank you for the bows and arrows, I guess. Let's rescue that guy. He, he can definitely be saved. Um, what else we got here? That's LeBlanc. That's our guy. There's another one here. Life threatening malnutrition. Died with 51 pemmican? Or, or is down with 51 pemmican? There's some weird stuff going on with the AI in this patch of Brimworld. I'm not entirely sure what's happened there, but we'll, um, we'll give him a hand. Maybe it's where I reloaded and there was a caravan around and that, that affected things somewhat. Oh my god, he died in the base. Don't do that. <gasps> oh my god. Thank you. Uh, set to load. The bloody alpha beaver. Get it the hell out of here. I couldn't be more happy to see the end of that damn thing. How do we carry it to shuttle? Get it out of here. Penguin, you are doing this place a great service. Finally, trees. And more importantly, we get our reward from this quest, whatever the hell it was. Um, we just gained royal favor. <laughs> wow, that was almost certainly not worth it. Goodbye. Goodbye, Isamu. I will not miss you at all. A squire. Oh, wow. Um, oh, no. What? She's received the title of a squire from the Green Empire. Her expectations will never be less than moderate. She's not willing to do cleaning anymore. She wants to be covered in apparel appropriate for a title, a ruffle shirt, a lady's hat, any powered armor, any sidecaster apparel. She demands a throne room that meets these requirements. A throne, an area filled with 24 tiles, all floored, braziers times two, and they must be lit. She demands a bedroom that's 16 tiles, all floored, and a double bed. She will only eat lavish meals, fine meals, insect jelly, survival meals, simple meals, pemmican, milk, berries, and chocolate. She has the permission to call a trooper squad. And she has the permission to use a, a, a second level psychic amplifier. She will also receive a second level psychic amplifier. If she dies, this title will be inherited by Rib. Great. Um, wow. Okay. 
That was pretty good then in hindsight, huh? And what are the what are, what are the ranks again? Can I see those? Um, I'd love to see what the higher ranks were, so how far we are up the up the up the scale right now. Um, okay, a squire. There we are. Um, so where are we right now? Uh, freeholder, yeoman, knight, dame. Pre <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, there we are. Um, so yeoman. So next one is knight or dame. Interesting. Okay, well, and then we can just call in a. Go for military using a special royal permanent. Can only use for free once. Afterwards, you must... Oh, it goes on cooldown. Right. You can use it more frequently, but it costs royal favor. Oh, interesting. So we've got like a get out of jail free card there. If things get particularly difficult. That seems very, very powerful. Where did our psychic amplifier go? And then I'll go ahead and install that into Omega. Unless you don't need to. Unless it's just one per character. Our plant pots work now. Uh, What the hell is even that? How have we done that? We've got a sideways plant pot right there. The extremely cursed. Oh, because we've rotated the room. Oh, wow. Oh, I guess the blue pin rod is not quite 100% compatible in that case. Where's the... Si there it is. Okay. Can we use that? Upgrade Psychic Amplifier to level 2. Okay. Has that given us any new abilities? Entropy Link. Form a Psychic Link between the cards and targets so the gain and loss of Psychic Entropy is shared between them. Oh, interesting. So can we use that on a character that doesn't have Psychic Powers to... Basically, half the load. But I guess they'd also take the... Hang on. Bear with me here. If we use it on Yoko, and she goes into a mental break, she, there's a chance she comes back with an inspiration. This could be a nice combo. Uh, come here. Uh, let's go Entropy Link on... Excuse me. <laughs> We've completely orbited her there. There we are. Boom. Entropy Link. Oh, but it only lasts 60 seconds. I thought it might be a permanent thing. Okay, fair enough. Oh, very nice. So we had some movement loops moving on the map, and I thought we might as well try and tame them up for the uh, for the fuel and everything else. So I'm trying to work on these now royal requirements that we've been throwing our way. So it turns out for the bedroom, it does give you quite a nice checklist, which is quite good. Um, Tart requires bedroom. The only thing that it did show before was needing a, a royal double bed. So fingers crossed that will be the end of it. But obviously the bedroom for the people who actually need it comes first. Let's also chop some more wood down. That bloody alpha beaver's gone. We might actually be able to finish these damn bedrooms. Um... All right, there we go. Now, the other thing as well, because we are working on the kill box and it's actually almost finished here, we just got a, uh, a few more blocks to actually finish off there. We're going to be filling this with traps. And, of course, we're filling it with traps in it. And if it's the only way in and out, we run the risk of our people actually setting it off. So I built a... I, I want to try and double this wall here and get some steel doors in there as well. We don't want it to be so easy to pass through that the enemy would rather knock this down than go through the kill box. But we also need to make it somewhat convenient for our people as well so that they don't end up going through the kill box and getting themselves murdered. This is all made of steel though, isn't it? Steel wall, steel columns. Yeah, let's take that apart and uh, get back some resource that we're putting into this wall. What do we finish? A wooden bed masterwork. Damn it, of all the things you could have turned this with masterwork, you turned that bed. Not the one in the royal bedroom. Omega, are you alright? What's wrong? No throne room, no personal- Whoa, What? Minus 14, minus 14, and minus 7? Holy shit. Um, wow, I wish I'd have... So we need to preempt getting these higher level titles then, don't we? It doesn't give you any window to try and build it. It's just like, yes, I'm an Esquire now. Give me all of these things. Uh, yeah, that's just fucking terrible. Thank you. Okay. Um, <laughs> yikes, this is going to take quite a while to catch up with. Basically, I'm just expecting Omega to make it to be useless for a few days until we've got all of this built. That's a goods trader. Oh, thank God that she's not eating all our damn food anymore. Let's see what they've got to trade then. I'm going to let them come to the base a little bit closer first, but hopefully... Oh, I'll collapse due to extreme exhaustion. I'm going to wake her up for this. This is kind of important. Bear in mind some of the really, really cool stuff we saw with our last exotic goods trader. Um, got advanced components. Okay, here we are. Stun wall rays. Okay. Um, what does wall rays do? I've not actually seen that one before. Form a temporary wall by skipping rubble and soil deep up from underground. Okay, I probably could have guessed that, to be honest with you. What about Berserk? I assume you hit an enemy, send a Berserk. Oh, that could be very, very good in big packs of Sieges. Think of Sieges. What can I sell to be able to afford that? Oh, nothing. Uh, I don't really want to sell it. We can sell the Boom Lopes. Oh, I don't want to sell the Boom Lopes, though. Components? I really want that, but it's so expensive. Um, sell every single one of our components, which is obviously a horrible idea. We could sell all of our Glitter Tech Medicine. And a boomalope, and then we'd be able to afford it. Berserk just sounds so, so powerful. I'm going to do it. Am I going to do this? This whole series, the point of this whole series is to see the new features. So absolutely, I'm going to do that. Was that a bad plan? Almost certainly, yeah. Um, use use that to learn learn that, that ability. Very cool. Berserk requires 35. Um, oh, you need the... You need the level still. That's rubbish. So we actually can't use that at all. Brilliant. 
Oh, shit. Jacob and Omega. Well, thank God we built that double bed then. That will actually help cancel out her negative mood somewhat. What? No, no, no. What the hell are you doing? Jacob and Omega. There we go. All right. And then... All right, cool. So that's going to be a bit more mood bonus while we work on her bedroom as well, thankfully. Um, oh, yeah, she's, like, pretty decent now. Uh, opinion of Jacob is giving her another plus eight. Um, very impressive. Dino. She's not bothered about her bedroom then. So she's happy to have a, a, a decently luxuriant bedroom. Very nice. Now all we've got to do is get the damn throne room built, which I wasn't, <laughs> wasn't really expecting this early on. Oh, yikes. Okay. Here we go. Right, round two. Uh, let's get these turned off as soon as possible. We do have a slight power issue in that they aren't... We, we don't have quite enough power for the for the slightly expanded base now, especially with the multi-analyzer plus the high-tech research bench, plus some of this other stuff we've built. Machining tables, smithies, whatever else. Um, okay, these bedrooms are going to get very, very warm very quickly. So let's open these vents. Let's also build a vent from here into here. And then we could just try and vent the whole base together. That's probably not a bad idea. Then we could also, on the other side of the base, build some coolers. Um, I don't really like building it here because we might always expand into these bedrooms. But I've built a couple on either side here as well. Fingers crossed that'll be enough to keep things cool. So we've got everything vented together. And then we've got heat being drawn out the top side and the bottom of the base. So the central room should also be kept relatively cool as well. Hmm, that is not good. Uh, let's get these turned off then. Uh, also the tailor bench is not super relevant right now. Um... Comms console, I'd love to keep enabled. Maybe we should drop the research for a while. We've still got to build that throne room anyway. Yeah, let's go ahead and get all of those toggled off just to try and build up a little bit more for the batteries. These aren't blocked by anything, are they? Didn't think so. Okay, um, we might want to get down another wind turbine in that case. So we'll sacrifice a little bit of the cotton here. Doesn't really matter too much. I mean, it's either that or potentially we all roast. And I think I would prefer not roasting to having some cotton. Let's go ahead and just make sure that they set two cotton plants again. Right, okay. What a pain in the ass this has ended up being. At least we have enough steel. It turns out there was actually a um, ship that landed somewhere down here. Some some ship chunks, which I've deconstructed, which is why we have a little bit of extra component. Um, I've only got two left, though. Oh, God. Well, let's hope nothing breaks down. Otherwise, then we are really in trouble. So instead, I'm going to unvent the stockpile. So this will just keep gaining heat. We'll have these coolers for the de for dedicated to the bedrooms. In fact, this is kind of overkill um, to have two coolers where both rooms are shared by a vent anyway. Then these are all venting out into this main area. So it's just these rooms now and the kitchen too, which I guess we could also unvent. And then these two and this corridor for whatever reason. Um, that counts as indoors, right? And yeah, obviously this is uh, unfinished right now. Yeah, we don't have enough components. Bollocks. At least we have the wind turbines online. So we've got that going for us. Look, the, the temperature in the main room now, actually pretty good. We don't need to close these vents after all then. Leave those open. Just in case they want to work in the stockpile. I don't know. Do some... What the hell have I done there? Excuse me. Cancel. Thank you. There we go. Let's also cancel that one then and just get a wall built instead. It's either that or this cool is really doing nothing at all. It's either that or we go out and get some more steel after all. Right, go ahead and work on that one as soon as possible. Where are people sleeping? Uh, okay, where are you right now? Oh, wandering around like a psychopath. I got it. Okay, fine. Let her just do what she's got to do. That should now equalize to a fairly good temperature. Yeah, look, that's absolutely fine now. Perfect. Okay, and we've got the whole base vented too. So this did work fine. It just needed a little while to get going. Obviously, we need to stabilize the temperature there too. But it looks like we're good. I know it says in the sidebar as well that they've all got heat stroke, but I'm keeping a very close on it. It's all just initial heat stroke. So there's nothing to worry about. Things like Yoko collapsing due to exhaustion, though, that is something we'll have to concern ourselves with. Um, she's actually good where she is. Of all the places to collapse in the middle of a heat wave, the door between the freezer and the outside, it, not a bad idea. Throne room then. Um, I guess we could put it back here. This seems like a pretty sensible idea. It needs to be somewhere where we can expand. When people has a royal type that requires a throne room, no throne room is assigned. Can I see what the throne room needs again, please? Uh, how do I do that? We go to, like, this one? There we are. Okay. So, uh, th th how do I see that throne room? Um, uh, uh, excuse me. I need to know what I actually need to build here, Chief. View title. So we can look at all the titles besides the one we've actually got. Seriously? Freehold a Yaman Esquire. Okay. Uh, oh, there it is. Throne room requirements. Thank God for that. 24 tiles, all flawed. Um, brazier times two, all braziers must be lit. That's not too large, reasonably. I'm going to build it much larger than it actually needs to be. Um, simply because I think we will need to expand it in the future. So I'm going to go something like that. And then we'll mine out this side of the mountain so that we can still pass around it. And we also had to use the tailor bench to produce, like, a ruffled shirt or some nonsense. Um, oh my god, we have to research it. Okay. Um, I guess we have to go for noble apparel. So, yeah, ladies' hat, royal vest, ruffle shirt, corset, or there was the option to produce, um, was it a size shirt that she was also allowed to wear? So, let's go ahead and re-enable that one. Go and pl flick the switch on that, and let's get, 
immediately working on that because it's minus seven mood for something that's very, very simple to fix. Come on. Really? Well, I suppose it gives him more time to stone cut, so <laughs> we'll look at it as only a positive. Right, let's copy these marble blocks over as well. Um, really, I should adjust this, but I was doing that just temporarily so we could finish off the kill box. Speaking of which, is another thing we need to actually finish off. Maybe I should start with the kill box. Um, pause when sets what? That's clearly not... Okay, there we are. Uh, and then unpause when we've got 50 in the stop. No, no. Uh, yeah, 50 is fine. Let's do that. And then copy this one into our second bill. And then I'll have to give them the ability to do a bit more stone cutting. So I'll just give one everyone sort of like a, a level four in it. Rib and LeBlanc. So Rib being our builder and LeBlanc really having nothing else to do here can be the ones spending most of the time on that. More mechanoids? That's twice this episode. Uh, Landing drop pods nearby. Okay, they're not near us. Oh my god. What? Oh, they built like a little base. Okay, that's kind of cool. Mech assembler? That is not cool. Um, I mean, mechanically, it's a, it's a really, really cool idea. Bullet shields, auto charge turrets, mini slugger turrets, lancer, mech assembler. So we have to go and stop this. The sooner we stop this, the better. What if we just shell it? What if we just shell the shit out of it? Is that active yet? Ground, hang on, ground projectiles. I sold the mortar shells. He's made a horrible mistake. Um, do we have the resources necessary to make some new shells? We haven't even got the research. We've got EMP shells. Hang on, we've got EMP shells. Um, we've also got an EMP launcher, which I think that could come in quite handy here. So, who is our crafting lord? Jacob. Jacob, craft me some things, crafting lord. We're gonna we're gonna avoid contact with them for the time being. Need material. Oh god, what are we missing? Um, components. Oh no. In my greed, I may have doomed us. Will they attack us? I assume they'll attack us. I'm assuming we can't just like sit here and wait. Eventually, they are going to come for us. But it's also heat stroke, so we can't fuck around for too long over here. Um, I want to just bait out the pikemen. Just getting one of them killed before today would be kind of nice. Open fire. Well, there he is. Okay. Hide behind the walls. Where's Rib? Oh, Rib obviously takes a long time to get here because of Rib's leg. Hide here. Okay. Hurry, please. We go, oh, shit. We've got to watch out for heat stroke with Rib. Leg shot off. Okay. Um, let's bait them out then. Boom, that'll do it. LeBlanc, get into cover. Let them come to us. So there's a Charger and a Pikeman, both of which we have... Short range is going to be our best friend. Friendship ended with long range. I think also Yoko getting there as well with the shotgun. And then here's what we're going to do. Pause it. Move them both in. Let them get a shot off. Fantastic. Back off immediately. And I'm going to keep basically rinse and repeating this for a long time. The rest of you can freaking get out of here. All right. Uh, should we just take out the assembler? Should we take out the assembler more than anything else? I'm not really sure. Aim at, aim at this guy still. That's a good idea. Okay, that did nothing. <laughs> that was two basically point-blank shots with the shotgun. But this will work. It's not the most reliable tactic, but it will work. <gasps> that charger got a shot back, though. Uh, Maybe let it get a bit more distracted. Also got to watch out for the auto-blaster turret. Shit. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, hang on, hang on. Kill him. Put him down. Legolas, take him down. Good shot, good shot, good shot. Okay, so you stay there. This thing being in... What's it shooting at? Rib? Get out of there, Rib. This thing being in melee range is probably the best thing we could hope for. It's certainly no Scyther. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Please put it down. Please put it down. How are we doing with the heat stroke? Heat stroke initial. Heat stroke initial. We're fine for a while. But anyway, we're also using Yoko and LeBlanc. So if either of them actually die... I wouldn't lose too much sleep over that. To be, to be, obviously it'd be a setback for the colony, but it's not the end of the world. Good shooting skill. Oh god, shit! The other guy spotted us. Okay, move this way. Get into some cover. Let's take this slowly. I would like to take pot shots at. Okay, I'm gonna move you back up here. We're out of the range of that guy now, yeah? No? How can it see us from there? What are you talking about? It can seriously see us from there? That's unbelievable. Okay, move back then. Forget I fucking said anything. That thing can also see us there as well. Oh, God. Oh, my God. She got peppered. Shot in the neck. Go home. Just get out of here. Uh, LeBlanc, let's give, us some, let's give us some cover and fire, please. Okay. Um, oh, it's outside of the shield. Is it actually outside of its own shield? That's really funny. Um, goodbye, Mr. Mechanoid. Nice knowing you. Oh, but it doesn't stop it, though. Okay, just give us some cover. Let it get out of here. 
That's not very nice. That's very rude. Oh my god, these mechanoids are so fucking strong. They're so strong. Get out of there, get out of there. What the hell are you doing? Go, 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 leave. Thank you. Much obliged. Right, get him home. Yoko, you look like you're gonna die now. Okay. <laughs> That's not ideal. That was not a great fight, I will admit. That was really not good for me. Um, sleeping spot down. Medical bed down. Doctor care only. Let's rescue her. No, 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 no. I think you're misunderstanding. I fucking hate that about Rimod. If there's a slightly better bed that they can take them to, they will, rather than whatever's closest. If they're gonna bleed out within, you know, two hours, I'd rather you just tend to them instantly. She's gonna be alright? She's lost an arm! Oh, god damn. Very frustrating. Um, that's actually really, really annoying. Okay, we need to get on those uh, prosthetics then as soon as possible. Is the blonde actually okay? It looks as if he wasn't bleeding out there. Do you get just intending? Were you not shot in the neck? Shot in the arm. Okay, you're fine. A group of travelers are passing by. Are they gonna... Oh, god damn. I was hoping they could kind of attack the... They're gonna build another pikeman. These things are so strong. They're like... Char the worst part of the charges with the armor of the centipedes. They are so goddamn strong. The fact that those two shotgun blasts just glanced off of them. And those things are gonna hunt us, I assume. Right, so the ones at the base aren't aggressive. Sad wonder. Oh god, where are you sad wandering? If you're gonna sad wander there, you are going to die. And I will have absolutely no sympathy. Where are the travelers? The travelers seem to have also... Oh, maybe we can get to cover quickly and kill it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, let's get into cover. Wipe this guy out. Nice, 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 nice. Well done. Good work, good work, good work. Come on, a little bit more. Actually hit it, though. Yoko, you okay? You're, that's still the damage you took from earlier. She's actually fine. Good work. Well handled. Gigantic blueprint. Okay. Uh, court just Count Justinian Paleologia. The Green Empire is requesting you build a monument to commemorate his own clothing choices. Ah, that's not really what I was after. Um... The monument is 8 by 10 in size and requires these resources. We'll have to protect it for 24 days. Uh, the count's enforcement system will activate in... What? What do you mean? Hang on. After completion, I'll have to protect it for 24 days. If any piece of it is destroyed, the count's enforcement system will activate and seven insect hives will burrow from underground. Right. So we have to build... that stuff. And then... Stop anybody? Are, are people going to actively come and attack it? Is that what we're asking for? And this is a, a, apparently a one-star quest, a normal difficulty. This is not normal difficulty. The quest where we have to look after an alpha beaver, that was that was very easy. And I think that one had a crazy high difficulty, didn't it? Um, yeah. No, no, no. Alpha beaver uh, was, was one. So that one would have been quite easy, too. That was the one with the cows. Um, that one was insanely easy. If you remember the, the EMI dynamo that we did yesterday, that apparently counts as two-star. Nah, these, these ranking systems are insane. So Newt's finally been broken, which means we might be able to get him as a recruit. Now, the reason I was waiting on you is so that we can use this goddamn mortar and hit that. That was not the best shot. In fact, you burnt the thing that I wanted to... You burnt the thing I was actually hoping we could get ourselves there. Um, do we need to research mortar shells in that case? Hang on. Uh, oh, there's no search function. Okay, bear with me a second while I dig that up. Again, this is why I've kind of come back to the base game remote so I can learn this stuff. Um, mortar shells, mortar shells, mortars. I see we have to research that. Okay, unlocks. Oh, Christ. Okay, so we've got to do gunsmithing. Then we have to do this. The fact that these mechanoids intrusions can just occur wherever, I feel like mortars are going to be very, very, very useful. The Squire-specific apparel is the ruffle shirt, the lady's hat. Um, what else was it she needed again? Hang on. <laughs> this is going to take a long time to memorize, unfortunately. Uh, so let's go back to, I assume it says on the rank again. Uh, so requires... Bedroom requirements, throne room requirements. What apparel do you need? Oh, good lord. This is going to take a long time to get used to some of these features, I feel like. Um, I'll just make one of everything. I'll just make one of everything. And hope I think it was just the hat and the, the ruffle shirt, right? I'll also make her a royal vest. Why not? Oh, there we are. So, ladies hat, powered armor. So, you can hover over it. Right, again, that's the type of thing that's going to take a while to actually remember. Because the information is kind of spread everywhere. Um, I've also got a pigskin royal vest that I assume she can wear as well. Hang on, pigskin royal vest and a pigskin. I bet that's incredibly... Uncomfortable. Bearskin Parker, Royal Vest, and the Ruffle Shirt, too. So, the other one was the Lady's Hat, which... Have we finished that one as well? Uh, that was very fast. Yeah, where is it? Where's the Lady's Hat? Uh... What, what, have, you, what have you done with that, friend? Has someone else picked that up? Doesn't look like it. Um, bear with. 
Mechanoids have been assembled and attacking, so I've got everyone lined up. Yoko went berserk, so just got a nice face full of shotgun there. Um, I've equipped Jacob, Jacob, Jakob with his smoke launcher. I'm kind of hoping that might provide us with... That might give us more benefits than it will give the enemy. I'm not really sure. Do we fire it at ourselves? I guess we'd fire it here, right? I have no idea if this is a good idea, but I'm going to go for it. Will that help? Will that help if we fire smoke at ourselves? Because that's how a smoke pop launcher works. That it would put smoke around you to make the enemy harder to see you. So I guess we'll just have him doing that. It's either that or we use him as a melee character, which is obviously a bit pointless. Right, Yoko's tended. You need to get down here as fast as your little legs will carry you because this boy is going to be here in no time at all. Let's put down a bit more smoke over in... Let's kind of keep it as centralized as possible, I guess. That'll do. Good luck, team. I'm not sure if this is the right idea, but this is what I'm going for. Okay. Kill them all. Kill him dead. Again, we might get unlucky here. We might instantly get hit by one of these and die. I've just got to pray. Just got to pray it misses. Maybe that smoke launcher helped there. I'm not entirely sure. We did survive. I'm really sick of these mechanoids already. This constant threat is horrible. Let's go through. Let's 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 take the whole squad. Get the whole squad. Wait, what? Another one? Another one? Right there? Hello. Um, that wasn't very fair, was it, video game? Oh my, what the f- Are you actually- I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do here. Run. It's every man for himself. If we stay there and fight, we're just gonna die regardless. Hold the door, hold the door, hold the door. Hold the door. Hold the door and hold the door. Right, everybody go through. Rib. Rib. Come on, Rib. Rib. Rib's down. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, here's the plan. Very simple. Smoke. Rescue. Go, 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 go. Rescue, 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 rescue. Go, 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 go. Anytime. Whenever you're ready. You didn't need to reload. That was ridiculous. These fucking guys are horrible. How can they drop down right on top of us like that? How is that fair? Was that random, or was that how that mechanic actually works? That if they see us coming, they'll suddenly spawn boys on top of us. I'm hoping that was just incredibly unlucky. Because that seems crazy powerful otherwise. Um, you guys need to seriously get back. Fuck off, Muffalo. Animal, uh, area one. Right, get back. Thank you. Right, I'm gonna just use the range that we've got on them here. Oh no, we're gonna die. I don't know what else to do. Um, just stand here, take it on the chin, and hope we kill him. Perfect. That's what I was kind of hoping for there. Are you all right? Bleeding out in eight hours. Been shot in the stomach. Uh, you've been shot in the neck by a needle gun. This is horrendous. This is horrendous. Omega, put you there. Penguin, let's put you there. See if we can kill this last guy. Great shooting. Great shooting. That's what we're after. I feel like the automatic weaponry might be the way forward. Good job. Good job. Okay, everyone get home. Get yourselves tended. Do not, do not extinguish that fire. Uh, if you extinguish that fire, I will just leave you to your mechanoid friends. Get out of there. Fucking pack it in. Go home. Why did you decide to eat food there, you strange person? How's Rib doing? Bleeding out in six hours. That was... I don't know if that was unlucky. I don't know if that's how, that's it, how it's designed to be. But that's horrible. That's genuinely just fucking terrible. Cargo pods, please. EMPs, weapons. Kibble. Kibble? You would send me kibble at a time like this. I'm hoping that, that the only thing that we have to worry about now is infections. Everybody's tended. Everybody's fine. The infections could be a real killer. Wow. This is unbearable. And in 0 0.6 hours, we've got to do the whole fucking thing again. Visitors, walk through the mechanoid hive and kill them, please. Please kill them. No. Oh, God damn. This is going to be painful. Because I don't think we've got... We've only got herbal medicine and then we've only got 10 of it. This is not looking good. Where did you just put that? No, don't do that. Don't do that. Hang on. That needs to be... I think it's because I disallowed herbal medicine in here. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, this is this is not fantastic. What are you talking about? No stack available to merge it into. What are you talking about? Oh, I have to remove it from here, don't I? <laughs> I'm a little bit tilted. I will admit that mechanoid raid was... I, I think it was probably unlucky more than anything else. I almost feel like if that was a game mechanic, that's uh, absurd. On the plus side, we're getting plenty of sterile components from all these goddamn mechanisms that keep turning up. Um, 
Right, so, Yoko, grab the grenades. We're sending on a one-woman mission. Because, honestly, Yoko's just getting on my nerves anyway with the constant mental break, the berserk, everything else. She's making our lives actively harder. Okay. Let's do it. It's, it, it's time. Metal Gear Yoko. Here we go. Get in there. Move across. Open fire. Even you cannot fuck this up. Absolutely fantastic shot. Oh, great work. Get out of there. She's done it. She's actually done it. Good work. Okay, we still have to deal with the charge turret. We still have to deal with the other guy. But the other guy looks like he's just stationary. Or not. A, or not. B, that's very annoying. Wait, what's she down by? Oh, right leg. One condition needs tending, but she's actually fine. Okay, now we've got to fight this guy with um one person. We've got to fight with one person. Rip can't walk. Penguin can't walk. You get a gun. I know he's a melee character, but we, we need... Actually, do, we could get in there with a club and, and beat him to death. Because that way we wouldn't be able to fire back. And I imagine they're worse at melee than they are at long range. So let's take... What have we got? Like a, Have we got like a good quality? A normal quality? That will do. Although it's probably got quite high armor. So maybe we need... Maybe a club would be a better choice. I don't know. I, I'll be honest. I'm completely going by the top of my head here. Um, hammer? That's probably got good armor penetration, right? 22%. What about the club? 19%. Give him the hammer. Give him the hammer and let him run butt wild. We're going to see if our melee character truly is a good melee character here. Right, Omega, are you in position already? Where is Omega? And honestly, Yoko, you can just lie on the floor for all I care for a, for a while. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get him like there. This thing's never going to know what's hit him. The visitors are leaving. Help me. Right, get in there. Club him. Kill him dead. Nice work. D don't shoot. Please. <laughs> Please don't shoot him. Please. Oh, are you even... What are you aiming at? Are you aiming at our people? You're aiming at the fucking death robot. Unreal. Come on, this is supposed to provide a distraction to allow us to take this guy out. Where are the visitors and why aren't they leaving quicker? Please hurry. Looks like we've got it. Looks like we've got it. Tw 39. What, how's he doing? 57. Good shot. Good shot. 23. These bullets are... <sighs> That's another person we need to tend. Unreal. Yeah, you guys. Hope you had a good time. See you next time. Thank you for, thank you for visiting. Come back soon. Unbelievable. Minor infection. 41% immunity. 25% spread. He's going to be fine. He's going to be absolutely fine. 60% there. Good. Let's rescue Yoko. I thought I'd forgotten about something. I'll be honest. Sorry, Yoko. Let's go and rescue her. 21 hours. We're looking at quite a high infection chance from that one now then. That's okay. Get her out of there. What a horrible experience this has been. What is, what is just a horrible experience all around? He's done what? Sorry. You've, you've just... You're lighting fires to my pot plants. Stop that. I, I mean, I'm not going to actively stop him. What I am going to do is let our people fight the fires as fast as he can make them. Please don't do that. I wish... I wish there was a way to sort of slap this man right now. I'm going to keep a very close eye on things. I'm just going to let it play out. I'm just going to let it play out. This is essentially free mood. It's a pain in the ass, but we should be fine. There's enough people here that should be able to fight these fires as fast as he can put them down. He stopped. Okay, that's pretty good. We're fine. That was just free mood. Uh, uh, that's free mood. We barely took any damage there whatsoever. How's he doing? 52%. We're looking at... 87% immunity, 61% spread. He's absolutely A-OK. -okay. And to say that this room is a complete dump as well, I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, yeah, of course, you won't clean anymore because you're an Esquire. Ooh. Men's construction. We've already got one of those underway. What do you want from me? Uh, build a monument to commemorate her Imperials who have fallen in battle. See, that's a bit more reasonable than a guy whose clothes are good. Uh, 80 steel. 140 sensor blocks, 144 slate blocks. Upon completion, you'll receive three royal favor. That's fine. We don't have to hold that one. Look, this is the same difficulty as the other one. The total value is slightly less. And this one has the caveat that you have to defend it for 24 days. And there will be insects if you fail. This one's just, yeah, build it. What does this one give? Four rough favor. That one gives three. These quests need some serious rebalancing because this is absolutely nuts. Thank you all for watching. That was that was an insanely long episode. Uh, it was unintentional. I was just kind of enjoying it right up until that friggin' mechanoid hive. Unbelievable. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it too. Let's give a shout out to the insane top tier level patrons for making the series possible in the first place. A big thank you goes out to Gogolus, Gwen S, Scott, Northern Bear, Bellic Strombo, Sarabi, Nostrus, Lucas, Peyton Denisar, Huey Longdong, Somnus, Slippy Nips, 
Skaz, and everyone else at the Insane Top Tier Level patrons as well. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you for making the channel possible in the first place. The new Patreon list should be available within, well, hopefully by the end of today. It still says processing right now, so we'll give them a little bit more time. Thank you as well goes out to Bokbin, Trevor Sanders, Tentacle Beast, Love Trees, Blood for the Blood God, Callum McLeod, Manuel Bosic, I am Segater, Sam Kears, Derek F, Jason Sushu, Mason Fireblast, Will Wade, Distorted Triangle, and Matteo for their support as well. Big shout out to you guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for some more extremely stressful RimWorld.